Hello! Welcome, my guys, to the channel. It's been a little while. I, I just arrived from uh, Vietnam, so... Actually, I've been back for two weeks, but I just wanted to catch catch some sleep again and just take some, some vacation off the channel a little bit. So, hey, so we are stuck in uh, 2018 for another year. We've got a couple of projects on the pipeline, but I'd like to share with you a couple of things before that. First, I want to thank uh, the admin and the whole community because while I was away, the Discord kept going and people just kept helping each other. So everybody that's on Discord right now, I'd like to thank you. Um, that, I mean, my screen is right here where there's a lot more places, especially in programming help. So people are active there and I wasn't. I wasn't for a good two weeks. So I'm super happy to see that. It, you don't even know how much it means to me that things are still rolling when I'm away. That means I can actually have my brain off for a while, which is amazing. So big thanks to Banana Protocol, Banana Boy. I like to call him to uh, Glasto, of course, for being always there for everybody. Uh, Serenol for answering a lot of questions and LaFluff for misspelling my name. Holy crap! Uh, at one point, she'll understand. Okay. And of course, to everybody else, not just the Cool Kid Clubs, but everybody helping. Um, I do have plans for the Discord in, in the future, near future. I want to rewrite a bot so we're not really split into two different groups. So we don't have an artist, programmer, designer. We're gonna go with a a broader kind of leveling system through activity and also through tipping. So hi, cool, and eventually we'll offer reward as well. So that's in the pipeline for 2018. A new challenge. We're gonna have a new challenge fairly soon. If I recon, that's on the 21st. So starting 21st, January Eastern time, that is gonna be on noon. So January 21st, or noon, is gonna be the announcement of the team. And then we move on. We have a full week to create the game. And this time we're gonna have $30 uh, USD in price, so that can be paid either through PayPal directly, that could be paid through Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever. Uh, we hold crypto because that's that's what I've been doing in my life in the past uh, two or three months now. So uh, we also hold crypto, we can pay you through that. And also a prepaid debit. So if you wanna actually participate in this challenge, um, make sure that you're around the Discord on the 21st. So prices are going to be there and also we're going to be featuring you on the channel. Speaking of which, let's talk about the channel. So this is going to be like the first video in a while. Uh, I really don't like doing update videos. I really don't like empty videos kind of deal, but I want to just give you my, my updates and what's coming to the channel. And um, so I've been playing around with a couple of things in Unity recently, especially multiplayer and uh, my state machine. State machine for moving around is something that has always been close to my heart and I think I'll be sharing this one with you first, so it's a project right now called Burb. Uh, but eventually, um, really really soon actually, I'll be sharing that with you on the channel. It is a complex state machine for moving stuff around, but the reason I want to give it uh, to you for free, so this is going to be like a download link, um, and you can just grab this code. The reason I want to do that is so I can move on um, a new kind of series that's going to be really light for me to make, but very 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 useful for you. Uh, a lot of people in the chat have been asking for moving around the character in a FPS manner. So what I want to do with this state machine is I want to have something with Overwatch. So I'm looking away, I'm looking for a way right now to have all the Overwatch model with their animation so we can create some state machine um, for this kind of movement. Right now, all you can see is a simple machine. Let me just plug that in real quick. I broke it recently, so... Alright, so it is a fairly complex state machine. So we have a input manager at first, just so we can test your input. This is uh, especially for the, the controller. So I like to have a controller when I'm testing this thing. It's currently not here, but just a scene for uh, testing those input. And of course, the state machine itself, which is going to be a little bit more complicated, like I said. So it's going to be, um, I'm going to be making a video on how this works, but I will be giving the code away for free at the same time. So if you just want to work on top of it, you can also do that. And it's going to be public. So if you feel like doing changes, of course, you can do that. Uh, but let's have a look at the structure right now. We have a motor with different states. So in here, I have double jump, falling, jump attack, jumping, and walking. All of these works based off a base motor. And it's like if you have a look on the right hand side here, it's a couple line of codes, as you can tell. So um, I'm just going to be explaining how to work and how to build on top of it. But the main point is, in the future, I want to be making videos based off Overwatch. I'm, I've been having a blast playing Overwatch, so I'd like to create, say, a video on how to create Black... Uh, not Black Widow, 
with a maker control on top of the state machine or Winston controls on top of the state machine, which is also why I'm looking for the models, but do understand that I can't redistribute them once I do get my hand on them. But um, that's, that's for the short term. And I've also been working on something else that is a little bit more interesting for some of you. Now the second project I've been working on is netcode, so uh, multiplayer games and we don't really have anything to show at the moment. We do have some nice uh, code, reusable code and something we can build on top of, but it's really nothing uh, visual. So say I have a master server over here, I can initiate it and then with the client you just connect and I guess I didn't put the right thing here. I'm probably trying to connect to a static IP again, um, but basically the name appears here and you just see that people are connected and this code is reusable that's what that was like the main purpose because with our previous multiplayer um tutorial or the chat room the thing wasn't really reusable but in this case it really is and we've been really thinking about the the structure of it first so that is also going to be coming i'm not quite sure when because even if we do end up having something that is really good and reusable there's always going to be improvement and I want to go through some kind of uh, filtering, like quality filtering first uh, before we make any video about it. So those two things are coming to the channel uh, fairly soon. I want to be making the the initial state machine video really, really soon, maybe like today after I'm done with this one and I'll be releasing it on tomorrow or two days from now. So that's the plan in the short term. Also, um, I want to thank everybody that bought the course on Udemy. I'm really thinking about even though like I'm really grateful for, for all the support I've been getting on Udemy, I'm thinking about pulling it off the platform and putting it on, on YouTube instead. Uh, monetary wise, like personally monetary wise, it has been so good to be on Udemy. Like no lies, I have made more money on that course alone than all the time I've put on the YouTube channel. Actually, I made twice the money on Udemy by, by having one course over there than the whole two years on YouTube. That just shows how YouTube is, is not really good for monetizing your stuff, but it also shows how education works. Like, you really gotta be grateful for people that do put free content on YouTube because they could be making so much more money at other places. But that's not the, the main focus here. Like, the main focus is really to just to build a community and have a bunch of people that follow what we do and also follow what each other in the community do like we, we're trying to build something more than just monetary wise because monetary wise I, I have my full-time job I'm a full-time consultant for freedom and I do get a pay over there it's not like it's it's not the best pay of course I like to have more money and I also like to to grow out of my debt eventually but in the long run I think I'm gonna be gaining more as an individual um, by growing the community instead. So I'm really thinking about pulling that uh, RPG course off Udemy and putting it on YouTube and just trying to generate more people, more views and more uh, attraction. But I'm not gonna lie that in the future I might use Udemy again to put something there for like one month, two months or three months and then take it off. Um, that is something I could visit if I really do need the money at one point. But thus far I'm really, really grateful for, for everybody that supported me on Udemy and it's just, it has been a blast. And also one more thing I'd like to mention uh, since we're on the money topic. Patreon has also been raising money recently, which is quite great, but I'm thinking about pulling, not pulling the plug on Patreon, but changing the, the receipt of, well actually not the receipt, but changing the way our Patreon works. So right now on Patreon, we pledge um, to get the files. So we do release some files, people can go download them if they are a patron of ours. And uh, not gonna lie, like people do sign up there uh, they say they pledge, they take the file and then they leave. Like it's, it's kind of annoying. I don't really want to feed into that machine. And also, like I mentioned earlier, uh, I am a full-time consultant, so um, I do get my money from somewhere else. Uh, the Patreon money is just on top to help me, say, get out of debt and also eventually build this a little bit higher, maybe incorporate N3K and and try to get some uh, government helping with that. So what I've been thinking lately is that we're just gonna put everything open source but we're going to say that they are delivered as if so no support is going to be given and we just leave the files there and if people want to work on them if they want to download them they can they can do that uh without giving us a monetary um funds like without giving us money basically so i think that's going to be a good idea and I think what I'll be doing instead is uh, when you do download the file for free, I'm going to be insisting on, well, you can donate here 
or you can pledge on Patreon and that kind of deal. So I think that's going to be a better model if we just want to grow in terms of number and not so much in terms of money. So that has been uh, my, my plan in my head at least. Uh, is everything in that going to be uh, realized? Maybe, maybe not. I'm, I'm going to be super honest. Sometime I do say some things that I can't uh, go with. But in the short term, what you can be assured that is that we're going to be sharing those uh, files, those files for free. You can also ask them on Discord right now. I'll give you a link to our drive. So I have a drive with every single of those projects. You can get a free link out there. Just ask for it in the Discord. Tag me if you want to. All right, so that is pretty much it for the N3K side of it. Like I said, expect some videos about the state machine. Expect some video about the multiplayer. Multiplayer has been our goal for 2017, and we did not make it. Like, honestly, I, I wish I could have made a lot more multiplayer tutorial because that's one of my biggest focus. That's what I like the most. I like playing multiplayer games. I like playing, uh, recently I'm playing Fortnite. I enjoy that so much. Any battle royale is really fun. And I've always been into multiplayer games. If you know me, I've played League of Legends before, wow, to, to a competitive level. So I really do enjoy that, that multiplayer action, that you kill other player action. And um, I really want to move forward with that kind of game ideas in the future. So uh, we're going to start off the year with a really strong movement set that's going to resemble Overwatch. And hopefully we can eventually plug that in our multiplayer engine and just start making a shooter game because that's always uh, very fun. So Again, I would like to thank everybody on this Discord. So much stuff going on right now in the showcase. So much stuff going on everywhere. People are signing in. A lot of people, like a couple of people per day. So that is so cool. And I'm really glad to see those numbers. I don't, I'm not saying it enough. Like I'm really amazed by how many people join us. And we want to go further. Like we want to, we want to push that even more. Also, on a more personal level, I've been doing a lot of uh, mining recently. That's what you see in the back. It's actually quite hard to see. Let's try and move that. Whoa. Uh, welcome to my mess first. But that what you see over there is to 1070 Ti working really hard. And we've got even more GPUs. So <laughs> that has been one of my main focus right now. Uh, I'm writing a Linux image to make these rigs work a little bit better. So that's something we do as, uh, as Freedom now. Um, and that's pretty much it on my side. I'm going to sign up with one of the best quote from Glassdoor, um, that just portraits all the, the big YouTubers right now. So what's up? It's ya boy N3K back again with another Unity game dev tutorial. But first, don't forget to smash that like button and give a thumbs up and hit that bell icon. I can't do that. That's so fucking annoying. Okay. Well, anyway, I will be catching you soon tomorrow or the day after for a review of not a review but i'll show you how the the state machine works and then i will be building on top of it to create those overwatch characters so meanwhile if you know where i can get those overwatch model with animations because if i don't have the animation it's kind of pointless um you know i want to make something that resemble overwatch really really close to it so if you know a place where i can get those please send me a link in Discord, tag me. My name in Discord is N3RKMIND. And I will be catching you guys soon. That's what I said already. All right, peace.